I didn't expect to find a sandy beach here in Scotland, but look at this. This doesn't look how I expected the Cairngorms to look. Today we are in the Cairngorms, which is Scotland's biggest national park. We're here for the next few days exploring the area around Aviemore where we're staying. This is where we'll be staying for the next few nights while we're in the Cairngorms. It's a wood cabin and it's right on the edge of the River Spey. So if you go outside, you can see the River Spey just through the bushes, which is really nice. So this is our seating area outside. It's a really big balcony. So now I'll show you around the cabin. So this is the front door and immediately as you come in, you've got the coat hangers on the right. And then as you enter the cabin, you've got the seating area here with the couches, the TV and a wood burner. We had that on last night and it was really nice and cozy in here. And then here we've got our kitchen area. We've got this really nice table here, which I really like. And everything here is made from local wood and a massive fridge as well. It's self-catered, so we've got all the stuff to make our lunches. Through here, we've got the bathroom and one of my favorite features, the Finnish sauna. So we've got this in our bathroom. It's very cool. In here is our bedroom with a big wardrobe and a really comfy bed as well. And in the morning, we can see loads of birds outside our window here. And then if we head upstairs, we come to my favorite part of the house. We've got not one, but two baths. And even better, a TV to watch. So while you're sitting in the bath, you can watch the TV. I've never seen a house that has this before. So yeah, this is where we're gonna be staying for the next few days. It's definitely not cheap, but after a few days staying in a bit more basic accommodation, we thought it'd be nice to have a bit of luxury at the end of our trip. We have found some wildlife.
We've just arrived in Glenmore and as soon as we got off the bus we saw a red squirrel in a tree at the side of the road. <laughs> Amy managed to get a good photo and video of it. Oh, it was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to find a sandy beach here in Scotland, but look at this. What you can't see though is that it's about four degrees out. This is the most unexpected find as well. We weren't actually meant to come here, we were walking past it and we just saw this lock poking through the trees. We find this. The water is also so still, you can see a perfect reflection of the mountains in the water. This doesn't look how I expected the Cairngorms to look. This place is insane. <laughs> okay, I ended up getting pretty chilly <laughs> playing with my drone, so we're gonna go to a cafe now and get a hot drink before starting our walk. So that is the valley we've just walked through down there. And now we're heading into the RSPB reserve. We've just reached this bothy which are old huts that are scattered throughout Scotland that allow walkers to stay in them for free and shelter from the weather. So it says the history of the Bothy up here and it's been here since 1877 when it was owned by the Grants and then here you can see it was acquired in 2018 by the Mountain Bothies Association which upkeep a lot of them now. So you've got all this woods collected here to make fire and saws and axes to cut the wood. You've got a solar shower up there as well. And then in here, oh hello, <laughs> this is where people can stay at night. So you've got the log fire oven, you've got a kettle and cooking equipment, a seating area and some cooking equipment as well. So if it's raining outside, you can come in here and stay for the night. Pretty cool. Do not use this as a toilet. So that is the end of our time here in the Cairngorms. We're now heading back into Aviemore to catch the Caledonian Sleeper back to London, which I am very excited about. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.